Okay, so usually I do an intro and whatnot, but we're just gonna skip the intro for this video. You guys can like and subscribe, blah, 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 do whatever you guys want to do. But uh, this video is more gonna be about like a rant video because if you guys haven't seen, the new Elemental Hero support was just revealed, just announced. And um, yeah, it's kind of bad to be honest with you. Now in this video, I'm not gonna be going through each card one by one. And this is more gonna be just a raw video of me talking to you guys. But I will say that I'll probably edit up on the screen all the different cards one by one. Uh, so you guys can see if you guys haven't read the cards, if you guys haven't seen the cards yet, uh, you guys can read them and then get an idea for yourselves. I'll also probably put a link in the description uh, for the cards where you guys can read them in more depth and whatnot. But uh, I, this this video is just gonna be talking more about like the general concept of this new support and why I think it's just really bad. And to be honest, it's kind of embarrassing on Konami's part, uh, just because like, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, we'll get into it in a second. But first thing I want to say is this doesn't make sense over here. Why is this card called Wake Up Your E-Heroes, but Hero Kid is on this card? Like, Hero Kid is not an elemental hero. I kind of get what they're trying to do. It's Jaden, anime, whatever, but it doesn't make sense. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, really, the reason I want to make this video is... I have a lot of feelings about this and I know this is just going to be me talking about like more so of an opinion kind of thing and and but it really I think it's important to talk about this because yeah so we just saw Konami make something like DPE Destroy Phoenix Enforcer which is a retrain of Destiny Hero Phoenix Destroyer. Now on that note I want to kind of bring up two things one i don't want to talk about the omni hero stuff so like the vision hero evil hero that the omni hero deck because that's what's really relevant in today's format but i don't want to talk about that because what karami did with this uh deck really is they kind of made it its own kind of like streamlined kind of idea where it's kind of like a mishmash of neos and elemental hero fusion monsters and i don't know it's kind of weird i'm gonna be honest it's really weird right um some of the support is like supports here like supports neo some of the supports uh supports like hero some of the support is kind of like neos plus hero so it's kind of like all over the place it's very inconsistent and the cards kind of suck to be honest with you the cards are not good and um so i say that to say this like konami could have really easily done and the reason why i brought up dpe is konami could have really easily just done a retrain of the original elemental hero cards like could you imagine konami just did a retrain of avion and Bristinatrix and sparkman and clayman or their effect monsters but in the effect it says this card is always treated as elemental hero avion um or or you know what i mean and, and then they could have used those cards to to search into poly search into whatever even made a new skyscraper retrain something like that and then made a flame wingman retrain where the flame wingman retrain is like a viable otk option you know like something where it's kind of like i don't like to create cards i don't like to do this custom kind of stuff but could you imagine an effect of like flame wingman where it kind of has its original effect where if it destroys a monster you you inflict that monster's attack points to your uh, opponent as life as uh, life point damage whatever it is but um that effect could also be like you know this card gains attack equal to the attack of the monsters that were used as its fusion materials and let's say it was generic and it was like oh you only need two elemental heroes with different attributes right you didn't have to use avion or bracinatrix there's something like that you know what i mean there's just so many ways konami could have done it where they could have just retrained the original hero monsters and used those cards as as you know the the base of the set i think the set is called power of the elements and essentially the set was supposed to be based around neos and elemental heroes so that's one thing they could have done. One thing they could have easily done was retrain the original heroes and make that original hero kind of archetype viable and just forget the Omni heroes. They could have done it within themselves, like a little like within kind of like their own thing where Konami doesn't have to worry about like, oh, but people are going to take the vision heroes and take the destiny heroes, blah, blah, blah. They could have done their own kind of thing with that. Um, or, or what they could have done is they could have taken the Neo stuff and retrained the Neo stuff. Because a lot of these cards and a lot of how this like th this new archetype, not a new archetype, it's Elemental Hero, but this new support for Elemental Hero, I should say, works. It's kind of like you have to play some of the Neos cards, you have to play some of the Hero cards, uh, you have to play, it, it's just new, like the Neo Spatian stuff, like it's really just awkward, it's a mishmash of everything, it doesn't work, like it just doesn't work. I think the Fusion card is a trap card, to be honest with you, I think they have a Quick Play card as well, um, I, I don't know what it is, but point is like, the, the reason I, I bring this up is because there's so many ways Konami could have done that could have gone about doing this to make it like viable right um whereas like what they did was they just they didn't retrain the original they didn't retrain the neo spatians like they could have even done with, okay so with the neo spatians they could have done new neo uh neos fusions where it's pretty much at the end phase you don't need neo space 
um and they don't go back to the extra deck after like the the end phase whatever you know you know that weird stipulation that neos fusions had yeah they could have retrained the neos fusions made them viable you know like grand neos could have been like on summon bounce a card your opponent controls you know whatever uh aquan you know all of their effects you kind of retrain those effects to base based off of the cards um they could have retrained the neos space Gems themselves but i think the fusions would have just been the better way to go but regardless like they could have done so many different things but now it's kind of like, hey, like you want to play Neos, but you could also play Flame Wingman and a Shining Flame Wingman, and and you know try to fuse Neos and Shining Flame Wingman together. Like, it's just really bad and it's really awkward, right? And I'm not saying that Konami had to make this a, a, a tier zero meta broken deck. Obviously not. I, but they could have easily made this a viable rogue strategy. So like the Neo stuff was really cool because even if okay, so let's look at the past Neo support where it's like Neo's Fusion, uh, Brave Neo's, Nebula Neo's. Like those cards were good cards. Um, but but you know the thing is with Neo's itself was just really slow and it's a really not a great deck in, in its own. Whereas now they could have just been like, hey, we can support that by making the Neo's cards decent and then, you know, using those cards. Or we could have just made the OG Neo stuff and then made new Neo's fusions. Um, but now making it a mismatch, mishmash, I should say, of like both hero and fusion. I don't know. Okay, point is, I, I just want to talk about that is because it's kind of like Konami just really took a weird route with this. And I, it's, I feel like it's a route that they could have avoided. And I, it's kind of, a, okay, the reason I say it's embarrassing is because they make great cards like DPE which is a Destiny Hero. They make a great card like that. Um, they made Cross Crusader a few years ago. Um, even the Evil Hero stuff, like if you think about the Evil Hero Malicious Bane is a retrain on the Evil Hero Malicious. Um, and then if you think about uh, Evil Hero Dusted Gold is a retrain on Captain Gold, where it's like instead of searching Skyscraper, it searches a Dark Calling, I think it's called, whatever the fusion monsters for, or the fusion card is for um, Evil Heroes, right? I'm like, they just, they did it in the past. They retrained Phoenix Enforcer and Des DPE is one of the most meta relevant cards in the game right now. So why are they going this weird route about um this hero stuff now like you know what i mean if this set was supposed to be based around heroes they could have even done both to be honest they didn't have to choose to do the heroes and the neos they could have just done retrain neos retrain heroes and you pick where you want to go kind of thing like i don't know and i understand they're trying to like so this is what i think i think they're trying to mix them together because it's kind of like Jaden used both archetypes in his deck which is sure makes sense but both archetypes of course we're not this is not the anime right um both archetypes do completely different things like the neos and the hero stuff do completely different things and really there's no synergy between them right like really there's no synergy between them and the, the new stuff makes you run bricks like it makes you run the neos and the avion and the bristinatrix or whatever like the, the the heroes you have to play right because you have to use the fusion monsters to make the new neo stuff right so I'm like thinking about it and I'm like, man, if you really wanted to play Neos in your deck, just play Neos Fusion with Neos and Rainbow Dragon and just play Rainbow Neos. Like, that's just better. Objectively, that's just better, right? Um, so, I don't know. I just, the reason I, I'm making this video really is just to talk about how, like, Konami just really needs to do better. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and let me know if you guys have seen the cards and what your opinions is. Now, um, I know some sometimes they just do things for fan service, but, like, this is just bad like you know just make it viable there's nothing in here okay there's nothing in this new support that you would even include you think about including in the omni hero deck that's viable in today's format right like if you think about a hero deck now if anyone thinks about a hero deck that's playable you think about like you know stratos you have your destiny hero engine you have your evil hero engine you have your vision hero engine but now like these cards it's not like oh i can take this and make my hero deck better you know it it's just its own kind of streamlined kind of thing where it's just you know like this is this and it has nothing to do with all the hero stuff that's been in the past which i thought was okay because i originally thought i was like you know it'd be really nice if konami did heroes like neos or elemental hero as its own thing and i don't want to play vision heroes and i don't want to play that stuff i think that would be a really good idea but just with what they've announced so far, and I don't know if we're going to get more cards because they announced a bunch of cards, right? But just with the, what they announced so far, I'm like, man, this is not playable. Like, at all, it's not playable. Like, there's nothing saving the, this deck, really. Um, I think they made that one card, like, Spirit of Neos or something. And that card is essentially, like, do you guys remember that, um, I forget what the card is called. It's like the Dark Magician card that they made a long time ago, um, where it's like, you know, if you activate a spell card or a trap card on your opponent's turn, you can special summon this card from your hand. They, they kind of made like a Spirit of Neos, which is kind of very similar to that card, um, where I'm like, but this is 
like really weird like you know what i mean i i don't believe correct me if i'm wrong i might be wrong here but i don't believe that could even counts as neos on the field so you can't even use that for neos fusions which is weird yeah, so, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know. I think this is just a really weird way they decided to do this. And I feel like there's just, there's just, okay. What I'm most upset about is there's just so many different ways they could have just made it better. It's not like there was no other options. You know what I mean? It's not like they couldn't have just, you know, how easy would it have been? Okay, guys, like, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong here. But how easy would it have been if they just remade the four original, like, you know, vanilla heroes, the Burst, Avion, the Sparkman, and Clayman. You make those four again. And after you make those four, you make a Flame Wingman and uh, and maybe one more Fusion Monster as a retrain. So let's just say let's just say they just made the Flame Wingman as a retrain, and then they make a new Skyscraper. That's it. What is that? Six cards. They make six new cards, and like the Avion has an effect, the Bersinistrix has an effect, the Clayman has an effect, the Sparkman has an effect. Essentially, where they just get you to either more of them, those copies, or they get you to Polymerization. So now you don't have to hard draw the Polymerization. Um, you know, or they get you to Miracle Fusion, something like that, you know what I mean? Like, something along those lines, and then, you know, you play those six cards with a Flaming Man in your extra deck, or five cards, I should say, with Flaming Man in your extra deck, and then really you just play it as go second strategy, where it's kind of like, okay, I'm gonna go second, try to break boards, and then after I break boards, I'm gonna make Flaming Man, I'm gonna OTK you with Flaming Man. I think, think about it as, like, the Dino treatment. You know what Dino did when Dino got, like, Ovi and Baby, or they had Baby from a long time ago, but, like, they got Ovi, um, which was purposely to pop the Baby, and then they had Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, which is just an OTK option. This could have been the exact same thing, where they could have just made retrained heroes that got you to cards, which got you to Flame Wing Man. You summon your Flame Wing Man, the retrain, and then the retrained Flame Wing Man goes for OTK, goes for game. That's kind of a way they could have done it. Like, I don't know. I just weird. I think that's just a better way for them to go about heroes, and they could have done that as their own, like, separate archetype. Um, they could have even they could have even said after those effects like you're locked into summoning elemental heroes for the rest of the turn so you can't play like vision heroes and all that stuff right um but i don't know man like i don't know i think konami just really missed the ball with this one or what, what's the saying drop the ball drop the ball miss the ball whatever it is you know what i mean they just completely missed with this one i don't think there's anything really good about this archetype um some of the artworks is really nice um that new card that that, that shows like neos and shining flare wing man on the sides that looks really cool um even the fusion looks okay. Uh, I still think it's weird seeing Neos and Shining Flare Wing Man together. Especially because, okay, the last thing I want to say, especially because, like, it wasn't even Shining Flare Neos, or Shining Flare Wing Man. I think the new one's called Shining Flare Neos. But it wasn't even Shining Flare Wing Man that was, like, Jaden's ace. It was Flame Wing Man, the regular Flame Wing Man. And then it obviously transitioned into Neos later. But then they made all this new support surrounding, or at least the artwork, I mean, is shining flare neos or shining flare wingman sorry i keep saying shining flare neos shining flare wingman and i'm like why it just doesn't make sense but yeah let me know what you guys think i know like usually i like to keep it optimistic and like happy on the channel but and this was more just of a rant video of just me talking um but i'm just disappointed and i think it's important to like let people know like yo um because i see people i've seen people on twitter get hype about the new hero stuff and i don't know if they if they just saw the artworks or they actually read the effects because when if you looked at the artworks before seeing the effects because i know i think they really revealed the artworks beforehand if you just look at the artworks it looks really cool there's a lot of promise in the artworks um but then you read the cards and you're like this is not playable this sucks so um yeah whatever that's all i gotta say uh thank you guys for watching i think i've been talking for way too long but uh i hope you guys did enjoy um actually i don't like i don't think you guys enjoyed it it's just me ranting but if you guys have any suggestions or any opinions or any ideas or any thoughts on this let me know in the comment section down below um i really want to hear what other people have to say and what other people think um and that's really it uh thank you guys for watching with that stay cool signing out peace